Hello, welcome back to more Let's Play Psychen Densetsu 3 Blind. In the last one, we came here to the to the Holy Land. I was expecting a little bit more holy things. I guess these angel statues are about all we're gonna get. Alright, that's fine. Alright, so we're looking for um like what, the mana sword, right? Uh were were we told we were gonna get it here? What was our Oh, I was about to say, what was our actual like goal for the entire game? We were trying to stop um uh, Angela's mother from like taking over. She just decided one day, I guess Like hey, you know what I realized we need to rule the fucking world. Oh, what the hell? Got this big old army, and I don't rule the world They're like what the fuck like what else am I supposed to do with this big old giant army? Besides rule the world sorry unify the world under my rule, you know <laughs> uh, That's kind of how the story goes in uh, romance of the three kingdoms your goal. I think I asked my dad this when I was a kid he was playing the first one on NES. He played the first one a lot. Uh, even though it's, like, way more... Uh, like, by the time he got to the third one, it was already, like, way better. Um, and I was like, what Like, what are you doing? Like, what's the goal? And, they're like, and he just repeated, I guess, what it probably said on the box. It's like, oh, it's to unify China. And I'm like, so, like, what do you do to unify it? And, you're, and, it, <laughs> and I mean, I don't remember the conversation, like, how it went, but I'm assuming that... When I asked, okay, like how how are, how is what you're doing accomplishing that? And then the answer is, well, I go and invade uh, everyone that's around me, and eventually I like rule everything, and then we're unified. <laughs> that's actually kind of how it works. Ugh. And I guess like like as a kid, I didn't understand. It's like, well, you're not unifying it; you're like conquering it. I'm like, yeah, but if you conquer everything, then everything is unified because you're the one ruler or whatever. Like, there's nothing, there's nothing dividing you, because everyone, you know, there's only, there's one rule, you know. Oh, so you're unified because there's only one of you. <laughs> oh man, anyway, uh, is this, I'm pretty sure this is a new way, was there a, a second way I could have gone? Um, maybe I should not be super worried about exploring all the paths, because there, there aren't ever any, um, like, just random treasures with, like, stuff in them. The only downside of not exploring all the paths and just going to the destination when I get there. Oh, there it is. Well, let me just go this way since I know that's over there. Is that if it's ever like, oh, now go back and find this other path. Go to this place you've already been and go the other way. I'm not going to know where that is. I guess even if I saw it, I still wouldn't know where it was. Uh, the Sword of Mana! Oh, I was about to say, why is she talking in parentheses? But that's because she's inside Angela's uh, skull still or whatever. Okay, oh, I gotta walk on the Oh man, I had to do the thing the game taught me. Alright. Hmm, I can't seem to move it. Uh, Angela, can you try? Oh. Oh, I actually have to be controlling. Okay. I suspected as much. Well, I thought that maybe just like a cutscene would go and then Angela would just be the one to walk up to it. Wait, slow down. Try it again. Uh, are you pranking me? It's like that prank when, uh, when they, when like the dude's getting ready to come in and then they step on the gas and then he like makes him miss his hand with the door handle. And they're like, no, 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 come on in, come on in. No, wait, try it again. No, it won't burn you the second time. Uh, why didn't it burn you the second time? Also, that sword is freaking huge compared to the size of the sprites. Good golly. Um, is that... That must be the final one, the one we haven't seen, right? But we didn't see, we didn't see that one, did we? That first one? No, I don't... I don't remember seeing that one. Hmm. I was for a second. I was just I was like thinking like, is there one that's inside the Holy Land? That would be weird. You wouldn't be able to get inside because you needed all the power of all the stones, right? Oh man, that fire effect is pretty. That might be the best like fire effect I've seen on 16-bit graphics. I think maybe I don't know. I would have to see the other ones like side by side, do like a side by side comparison. I, ca I can't think of any fire that looked really good. Didn't Final Fantasy VI have some? No, I think I'm thinking of uh, when you fight the tentacle uh, monster dude, and it's all doesn't, isn't it like wavy and stuff? Doesn't it move? Does the background like move or whatever? Actually, I don't. Oh shit, I don't remember. Oh, I feel like I should know. I played that game so many freaking times. Okay, I wonder if that was skippable. I actually wasn't pressing any buttons. I should have probably seen if that was skippable. I mean, 
Not that I want to skip this, but I feel like that it spent a long time just showing the eight stones. So the stone finally realized that we had all eight stones the whole time? Oh man, the sword's shrunk. Uh, the sword of mana! Oh man, you're wielding it! Oh man. Thundercats, ho! Uh, fairy? Fairy, where are you? Maybe the sword, like, changed shape to, like, match the wielder, you know, so, so it'd be usable. Uh, I have a feeling that bottom line was important. The line I didn't read. I'm the image of the goddess of mana, uh, uh, Angela, hero of the sword, hear me. Oh, we have a goddess of mana now? I thought the... I thought it was just, like, the tree itself, like, in Secret of Mana, uh, or the, you know, Secret of Mana. Uh, the fairy has been taken by an evil hand, please save her. Wait a minute, if you're the goddess, weren't you supposed to grant our wishes? Yeah, like, save her instead of making us do it. I wish that you would do the thing that you want us to do. Uh, the power of mana is dying, the tree will wither soon, and I will be gone. I can't do anything for you, but I will give you this final gift. Wait, so you, you can't do anything for us, but you're going to give us a thing, which is doing something for us. Uh, my heroes, uh, Angela, Lice, Carly, may let the mana guide you. Wait. Okay. Well, she's dying. What do, what do you want her to stick around? Be like, I know you have such limited time, but please spend it with me. Oh, damn it. I actually have to put a thing back. Uh, wind drum, is that going to be, like, the flammy drum? Is that going to let us summon, uh, what's-his-face? Okay. I forget what button I hit, but I thought it, uh, that the button would work, but it did not. Well, you know, I'm pretty sure that it's going to let us, uh, fly, so I guess I could put the, uh, the, the flute, the fucking turd whistle thing away or whatever. Obtain wind drum, woohoo! Yeah, I don't know, man. Your vision wasn't very, like, your field of vision wasn't very good while you're on it. Plus, like, the swimming noise was really a, an obnoxious sound. It sounded like that sound effect was, like, too loud. And it was just kind of jarring to have to swim for, like, long periods of time and listen to that, that, like, splashing noise. It sounded like electronic static splashing or something. I don't know. Wasn't uh, a big fan. Um, can we just use the drum in here? Boy, wouldn't that be nice. Oh, we cannot do it. And it does let us call Flammy. Oh, it actually looks exactly like uh, the other one, too. Um, is that, is that like a, is that like a Mexican child's toy? Like that, that drum thing or whatever? In Secret of Mana, how you like, you just twirl it back and forth and little drums whip around and hit the opposite end of it or whatever? Uh, yeah, actually, I think I, I used to have one. And, and, uh, I might still have it. It was just like a cheap plasticky one. So it probably wasn't, like, a high-quality, like, real wooden one or anything. Um, okay, I, why did they put this here if I wasn't going to be fighting anything? I thought they were going to, I was going to have, like, many opportunities to level up. And then they wanted me to be able to change classes without having to fully exit all the way out. But, uh, instead we just went in and got the sword and now... Actually, is she, um, is the sword equipped on her now? Oh, wait. Uh. Oh, jeez. I gotta go into that one menu. See, it's, it's like a repressed memory. I have so many bad memories of, like, going to this menu accidentally. It's not even, like, occurring to me right away to be doing that. Wait, you don't even have... You're not even using the mana sword? She just, like, pulled it up. I guess... I guess each character has been limited to one... Uh, one, um weapon style or whatever, one weapon type rather. That, it, that actually does kind of seem like a downgrade. Whereas with uh, Secret of Mana, any character could equip uh, any uh, weapon. And then many of the weapons gave like special uh, stats and whatnot. Oh, hello. Like a certain, a certain boomerang would like raise your intelligence or a certain spear would be good against uh, flying enemies or something, you know. They each had like different attributes. And that, and then when you would, and then when you would upgrade it, the attribute would either go away or change. So then it just c kind of encourages you, encourages you to keep switching weapons throughout the game. Uh, Death Jester, did you kidnap the fairy? Oh heavens no! If I had, I wouldn't be lollygagging around here. I'd be waiting behind you in ambush, preparing to take you with the element of surprise. What are you talking about? Hey hey! Uh, but the real reason I'm here is to act as a messenger. Well, aren't you important? You're an important figure in this plan. You get to be the messenger. Aren't you proud? My master, the masked mage, 
has been executed and the Mirage Palace has been destroyed. Well, you should choose a better master instead of one that goes around getting executed all the time. Uh, the perpetrators of this most vicious crime are waiting for you at the entrance. They made me stay here to tell you and threaten death if I refused. Oh, so Death Jester is actually not, like, like powerful or anything. I don't know, that one scene kind of made him seem like he was, like, a strong dude. Uh, where we had to fight the, the Beastman dude or whatever. Uh, the dude in the woods, the boss or whatever. Uh, well, they're probably going to kill me anyway, so I shall take this opportunity to run. Ta-ta! No! What happened, uh, Heath? What happened? Hmm? What did it say? What happened to Heath? Hmm, well, he's a bit of a weirdo. The masked mage died, and he was released from his curse. But he didn't seem to know who he was anymore. And then he just disappeared somewhere, like that. I haven't a clue what became of him. Well, you sure are, di like, dispensing a lot of information, considering you don't like us. Is that enough? Well then, ta-ta! All right. Uh, oh, where'd Heath go? Poor Heath. I guess now that he feels, uh, like the bad guys or whatever might turn on him, then maybe he feels a little inclined to help us a little bit. Uh, don't worry, Heath, Carly will take care of those bad guys and find you for sure. Yep, yep. Wait, so who are the people that were threatening the Death Jester dude? Oh, they said they're at the entrance. And it was also the people that kidnapped Fairy? Is that what, is that, what that was? Oh, hello. Thank you, did you kidnap the Fairy? It's all over. Now my Dark Prince shall never return again. Oh, they murdered the dude. Oh, man, check out that collar, man. That shit's popped all the way up over his head. God damn. So, you just killed that dude and laid his body in the path of those stairs? Uh, so you're actually, like, the bad... the baddest dude or whatever? Um, our master, the Dark Prince, planned to open the gate to the Mana Holy Land. He sacrificed himself to summon the Mana Stone of Darkness from the Underworld. I kind of feel like... Like, all of this should have been, like, shown. If it, it feels like you're given, like, a book report on, like, a book that you know that the teacher didn't read, so you're just trying to, like, bluff your way through it. They're like, oh, and, and after that, we plan to revive him with Mana Sword and both merge both worlds together. But an unexpected adversary, adversary appeared. Yeah, I mean, you should you just missed him, man. But no, he, he was real. Uh, eliminated the Dark Prince's remains and sealed his soul into eternal darkness. Not even the sword can help him now. Oh man, so yeah, soul in eternal darkness, yeah, that's a bummer. Uh, Jagen, Jagen, uh, thought we could at least obtain the sword and merge the two worlds. But I can't imagine what any, uh, world would be like without my dark prince. Oh, wait, so you didn't kill him? Then how is he dead? And I will not allow, uh, his death to be stained by this never-ending disgrace. Oh, are they saying that his soul got trapped when they just happened to be standing right there? Otherwise, why would, it just, why would it just be the two of them with him dead? <laughs> it kind of makes her look like she's the one that killed him. <laughs> so with these hands, I killed... Oh. <laughs> just got to read this shit on screen. <laughs> so with those hands, I killed Jagan. Now I, too, will follow after my Dark Prince. Oh, that's not even the Dark Prince. That's just Jagan or Jagan or whatever. I thought that was the person she was, like, in love with or whatever. Wait, was she in love with the Dark Prince? She's calling him my Dark Prince. It makes it seem like, like they're lovers or something. I have returned Rolante's prince, uh, who we planned to use as the Dark Prince's new body. Elliot is unharmed? Yes, I intend to know, uh, when the end has come. Goodbye. Oh, man. The Dark Prince was my everything. Why is she flashing, too? So, she killed him, and then that somehow made her die, also? Uh, but this isn't over yet, until those who Bigio spoke of are defeated. More people will be killed like father. Our enemy is gone, and if what Bigio said is true, Elliot has returned safely too. Who the hell is Elliot? Who, who is Elliot? And I didn't even know who... Jagan was the dude with the with the giant uh, cuffs, right? Like what, like, what purpose was he serving in the story? I feel like I'm not familiar enough with these characters to be having them die like dramatic deaths, and I'm supposed to care. I mean, I care that he's dead, but, like, I, I wasn't, like, emotionally attached to that character. I didn't know anything about him, so how am I supposed to feel anything when he's dead? Uh, I'm going to everyone, or I'm going with everyone. Let's hurry. Also, I think I skipped past one of the text uh, jams without reading it. Oops. Okay, so that happened. Um, do these two paths both, both lead to uh, where I need to go? Oh, it's gonna... It's gonna do the same thing, like, can I- oh wait, 
Aw, oh, damn it. I thought that maybe I uh, couldn't call Flammy because I had to activate that scene. And then now that I activate it, I, I would be able to use it. I'm pretty sure that um, anytime you're outside, you can call Flammy in Secret of Mana. What the hell? Oh, it's got these got these unmet expectations. See, so you, you give something to the player, then you take it away in the next game, and then you feel like you're losing out on it. And then you feel gypped. Um, okay. So I thought uh, I thought Flammy was supposed to give like more freedom. Like now, now it's like, well, now I don't have to go to the shore to call the dude. Oh, okay, another cutscene. Okay, fair enough. Uh, Corin, stop! Give back the fairy. Oh, Angela, all you ever do is whine, whine, whine. Have I told you that? Yeah, no, you're supposed to just let me kill whoever I want. If you complain, then you're an entitled whiny man, baby. Uh, well, if you want the fairy back, uh, you'll have to meet us in Altena and bring the Sword of Mana. Hey, wait, Corin, why don't you just kill the stupid fairy now? Oh, mother, why? They couldn't pull out the sword uh, by themselves, so they waited for us to do it. What'll we do, huh, huh? Uh, even if it's a trap, I can't forgive Mother for this. We have to go! I can use magic now, and I have the sword. I won't let them bully me around anymore. Alright, cool. Let's go, Altena's waiting. Okay, where was... Where is that place? Oh, wait. Also, I can't get off the screen. Did this screen just used to be an empty screen? I don't remember... Hmm, I thought this way would lead out. I thought they'd be, like, blocking the exit to, like, force me to go through that scene before I was able to leave. Um. Uh. Hmm. And I don't know how to get out. I'm pretty sure going down. Like, we were going in a generally downish direction to leave. Hmm, okay. Okay, there's nothing over there. Um, what was I saying a minute ago? Oh yeah, about the about the flammy drum. Yeah, I uh, can't use it. Can only use it at designated places. That is not the same amount of freedom as uh, having to use it only on the shore. You know that designated place. I don't know. I'm just talking on my ass. Uh, just trying to buy time to uh, have something happen <laughs> so I can talk about that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, this sucks. Oh, wait. Is this the beginning? Can I call him from here? Ah, oh, Damn it. Aw, oh, the... Okay. I feel like summoning him was kind of cooler uh, in the other one, too. I don't mean... I don't know. You could skip that little cutscene where it would show him, like, like dashing towards you or whatever. Um... What the hell is this? Oh, dude, I totally, <laughs> I thought that that was the world. It was like the first time I could like fly around. Oh shit, what's going on? I'm not pressing buttons. I was just rotating. Oh, okay, I forgot that there's like an additional like descent level or whatever. I thought this was the world. I was like, dude, there's no way that the world looks like this. There's no way that there's snow in every direction. Okay, yeah, I totally forgot that there was, okay, now we're actually here. Okay, jeez. Uh, yeah, see, had to get my bearings. That was silly. Um, oh wait, is there actually the snow place? The place with the, um, with the, uh, with the, with the one, uh, blinky dot. That has to be where we have to go, right? I was about to say, where the hell can I land? Okay, is the gate gonna magically be open now? Ah, it just opened? Oh my gosh. I feel like they should have, like, invented some reason why it was closed and now it's open. I was gonna go and see if I could find um, a place to save, but I'm guessing that the game doesn't want me to gain levels before I enter. This place seems like it could be like leading up to like a dramatic something, possibly the end of the game. So I figured I might want to gain some levels first. But there wasn't an area between the last area and this area. Oh, uh, okay, we got just str uh, straight up town. Actually, maybe this town will have, um, like, one last set of good armored weapons to buy. Like, oh, they were hiding the best shit in the game in the starting town the whole time. Oh, my gosh. Was there something that was making the people not sell me things? 
uh, at the beginning of the game? Is that going to be, like, the excuse for why the game decided to hold out on me, even though I started in the town with all the good weapons? Uh, a dark shadow will consume Altena and spread to the rest of the world. It'll be the end of life as we know it. Uh, so everybody knows. My poor old mother, always saying it's always something with her. Now she says the world is going to end. Oh, okay. For a second, I thought I was like, oh, everybody knows that um, that the that the kingdom they're living in is gonna like fuck up the world. But nope, just the one lady that nobody's taking seriously. Monsters took over the castle, but oddly enough, they left the surrounding town alone. Okay, so maybe they're gonna be suspicious, but not quite know what's up. Also, we have like empire music. This is like the uh, the music that would be in a town that was like occupied or something. I'll protect the grandchildren with my life. Okay. Well, that's easy for you to say because you've already like lived a full life. It like the sacrifice doesn't mean as much when you're like 80 years old versus like 20. Uh, even if we wanted to run, there are still monsters outside the city. Maybe one day they'll invade the city themselves. There's not much we can do. Oh, don't worry. Your grandfather will defend you with his life, so you got nothing to worry about, right? Um, I mean, his best bet would be to just, like, whip out his dick and balls and hope that they, like, can't, like, concentrate enough to fucking, uh, attack you. I don't know. I'm not scared. Grandpa's here. Oh, man. It is a little bit sad. You know how, like, everybody's, like, grossed out by, like, old people genitalia? Uh, it's kind of weird. I've had the thought occur to me on several occasions that someday that's gonna be me. I'm gonna have that disgusting genitalia that nobody wants to look at. I mean, nobody wants to look at it now, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Ugh. Okay. Oh, man. I guess, like, it's generally known that, like, dudes' balls start to sag when they get older, but it's like, how much saggage, like, does the average dude's balls sag as they get older? Like, what kind of droopage are we talking? If so, like, somebody should, I mean, like, years ago, I, I made the joke, but like, oh, somebody should make a ball bra. Like, if it's actually gonna be, if, if like, if, if my balls are actually gonna be, like, three inches lower in 30 years, then maybe, maybe someone actually should do it. You know, women have uh, bras to help with their boobs uh, sagging, so I can't uh, guys get any love with their saggage. Um, okay, so we have another set of stuff. Um, I feel like this takes a long time to do. Uh, even if, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. I'm just going to buy all the things and go to the menu, equip all the things. But I feel like just doing it one at a time uh, just takes a while. So let's meet back, and uh, we'll continue exploring the rest of this town. So we'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Uh, we got pretty good uh, boosts from the new stuff. Oh, man, was time passing while I was in there? Hmm. Yeah, a lot of games have it where time only passes when you're outside. Monsters in the castle were overrun by monsters. But you, you both seem pretty chill about it. It's terrible. I hope the queen is all right. Uh, I'm sure she's fine. Just uh, getting all cozy with them monsters. Okay. Do I need any uh, of the things? Yeah, I guess it's this kind of like Secret of Mana, where it's like, you know, relatively early on in the game, you get, um, I don't know how many of these I have. I'll buy a couple more. Uh, relatively early in the game, you get access to like all the uh, items you'll be able to be able to buy from stores, and then um, and then that's it. I mean, it would kind of be nice to see some new items. I guess this game actually does like the black market has uh, a bunch of uh, like one of a kind items, but you gotta you gotta go back there every time you want to to do it, and you have to remember where the town is. So for me, that's gonna probably be a no go, <laughs> except for that one time I stumbled across it. I don't know, I don't feel like a lot of that stuff would have really been useful. I mean, it was cool to have a bunch of, like, a store that only has, like, one-of-a-kind things where you can't buy them anywhere else. But at the same time, it's like, well, I can only hold, like, what, eight or nine items anyway? Actually, you know, I've been thinking about doing this for a while. Let's swap out and start using some of that crap that I have, that I've been accumulating for the entire game. It's, like, freaking ridiculous, man. Magic rope, okay, never need to use that, it's garbage. Uh... Pweet Pweet gr Grass? What the hell does that do? I don't know what that does. I highly doubt we're going to need it. Let's get rid of the Pweet Pweet Grass. Uh, anything else? Chibi Hammer. I'll keep that, I guess. I guess I could, if I get minied, I could just uh, cure it, but... Okay, Earth Coin. That's like Earth Damage, right? Okay. Oh man, there's just such a delay. 
I keep thinking I'm hitting the wrong button. There's just a delay on it. Storm coin. Oh, damn it. Oh, that delay, man. It's like a full second. Uh, Jin statue. Okay. So, uh, Storm coin is probably going to cause wind damage, and Jin is probably going to cause wind damage. So, is the. Oh, wait, can I save here? No. Are the coins like the lower level ones, and then the statues are the higher level ones? Because we've been coming across the. Uh, I have like an Undini statue, too. Got a couple of those, I think. Okay, can I read this? Uh, nope, nope. I was about to say, what is that sound? Oh man, 220? Oh my gosh. That's like... How much more is that than the dudes at the Holy Land? Oh, you know what? It's possible. I'm pretty sure that Secret of Mana did this thing where... There was a point where you got close to the, in to the end of the game. And you were just like expected to grind for like a bunch of levels. Uh, actually, it was when you go to the... Is when you go to the... Oh, shit. What was it called? That place where you have to fly to. Where you have, like, the giant, like, feet... Like, chicken feet. Hmm. And you're in, like, the, the wooded area. Where, like, like, all the leaves are, like, blocking your vision and whatnot. Uh, yeah. You're supposed to grind there for a long time. I guess it kind of works out because, like, to get the best uh, armor in the game and weapons in the game... Is it weapons and armor or just best armor in the game? A lot of that shit is so expensive that uh, you need the experience and also the money so you can buy the best stuff in the game. So you need the levels and uh, and the money to get the stuff in the game or the, the best uh, armor in the game. And it's the best by like a long shot. So there's pretty much no way around it. Around just doing that, doing that grindy uh, part. Which we all know if this is a game in 2018 how they would handle that and be like, well, you can grind for two hours or you can just, you know, pay like three dollars and you don't have to worry about it, you know. Um. Oh, it's kind of funny how um, uh, Metal Gear Survive got so much flack for um, charging ten dollars for an additional save slot. Uh, they give you one, but if you want a second one for like a different character or profile or something, you would need to buy it. Um, I gotta say, as terrible of an idea as that is, uh, to have like as to have like a single save file would have, would have been really handy back in the 8-bit or 16-bit days because there, there there's plenty of video games that like that I was just like if there was just a way to save the game or if there was just a way to that I could just save it and then if I lose all my continues I don't have to play the whole game again there's a lot of games that I would have actually played and finished but uh, if you're gonna design your game to where you know, three lives or three continues, and you gotta go back to the beginning of the game, you gotta make sure that your game is fun. Because otherwise, people are just gonna say, F this. They need to be having enough fun to where they're willing to go back to it. And uh, a lot of, I mean, a lot of games did do that. And then those are the games that are really hard, but then there's a lot of people that are good at, because the game was fun enough to where they were willing to, like, play it over and over again. But uh, there's also a lot of games that, um, that you, you, as soon as you see, I mean, we've all been there, right? You, you, like, you give a game your all, and then you get, like, halfway through, then you gotta start the whole game over, and then you just turn it off, and you just never play it again. Like, um, yeah, a lot of games do that. Oh, it is nice to know that, for the most part, like, the saving of the game is no longer an issue. The only time you can't save the game is when they, like, don't want you to save, I guess. Oh, okay. But, um, other than, you know, what do you call it, One Minute Hero or whatever... Uh, for the most part, unless the game is, like, short, like an arcade-style game or something, you have some way to save your progress. I mean, you might have to replay, like, some, but to go all the way back to the beginning of the game, man, screw that, man. But at the time, we didn't have a choice. Back when we were kids, you didn't have a choice. You either started at level one, or you never played the game enough, or again. And you just had to make that choice. Like, am I going to keep playing this, or am I going to play something that's fun? Didn't there used to be a statue here? Oh, man. Oh, is the statue, like, removed because it's, like, blasphemous to have, like, an image of, like, the mana goddess or something? Boom. Oh. Man. Yep. We've all been there. You do that thing. As soon as you see that, as soon as you see that, that title screen, you just put the control, you're just like, nope, click, and never think about it again. Jeez. 
Um, I'm guessing there's not going to be anything hidden. Let's just go... Let's just work our way up. I'm guessing we're going to have a cutscene. We're actually at about an episode, I think. Yeah, I totally... Uh, that was... Which episode? It was like an episode or two ago. I accidentally had a 22-minute episode. Well, I cut out several minutes. Wait, why, why is that statue there? Uh, I cut out several minutes, and then uh, it still ended up being short as shit. <laughs> Uh, even though I thought that I calculated it correctly. Uh, it was like a 40-minute recording. I just was cut for longer than I had thought. So it ended up being short, so oops. Uh, you're late. Well, we'll do this one. We'll do this last cutscene. Uh, if you want to see the queen or the fairy alive, hand over the Sword of Mana. Mother, I wouldn't do that if I were you, Angela. Why do I give two shits about my mother? She totally threw me under the bus, and she's trying to, like, take over the world. Uh, Corin, stop it. Taking my mother hostage isn't going to get you anything. Oh, but it will, my sweet princess. Just watch. So this corn guy is like the, the eviler person. And uh, the queen of Altena was just like the regular, like, I'm going to rule the world. And then the person's like, fuck you is. Uh, the sword of mana was ta taken. Dude. Why would you just freeze right there, man? It's a bad time for your flight or flight reflex to choose the wrong one. Uh, such power, such beauty, only fitting that I now possess it. I just wish it weren't suddenly getting so heavy. Oh shit, it's gonna reject him. See, Corrin, the sword doesn't like you. Give it up. Uh, it's kind of a weird way to word that, but... Oh, the Thord, it doesn't like you. Even the Thord won't be your friend. Uh, the Sword of Mana reflects its owner's soul, be it good or evil. By the power of the, of the Dragon Emperor, we will shape it into a dark blade. Oh, so it didn't fully... There, even now, the sword begins to acknowledge my ownership. So why did the sword get... Why... <sighs> Never mind. What's the point of the sword, like, rejecting the owner if it doesn't like it? If it can't fully reject him, he still had got it anyway. <laughs> We're wasting our time. Let us now release the god beasts. Maybe they'd be like, like, yeah, I'll own you, but I'll still be very heavy and annoying to carry around all the time. That's, like, the best the sword can do. <laughs> Wait, what about Mother and the Fairy? Oh, almost forgot. They're no use to me alive anymore. Corrin, stop. I won't let you hurt them. Boy, if only I had the Sword of Mana. If only I had something that was, like, strong enough to defeat you. If only I wouldn't have let it get taken right out of my hand. Jeez. Uh, this is pointless. If I don't kill them, the God Beasts will anyway. Tell you what, I'll let you all live. That way you'll be around to see the end of the world. Ha 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 ha. Oh, you don't say... Well, fair, I didn't see you helping. Didn't see you throw your body in the way, try to stop him. What the hell? <laughs> I, I'm sorry. Fair, are you okay? Don't worry, it's all Corrin's fault. He manipulated everyone. But you've got to help us. They're trying to revive the god beast. I thought I'd been destroying them. I thought each of the bosses that was guarding an element was a god beast. Uh, then it's begun. The mana stones are about to break apart. Oh, no. Uh, close your eyes. Uh oh. What is going to happen? Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Close your eyes. Don't watch the mana, sword, uh, the mana stones being broken apart from very far away. God damn it. We got to watch it. We got to watch all eight of these again. No. Oh, I can't skip it. I was trying to skip it this time. Yes, I know it's kind of shitty to skip a cutscene on purpose during a blind let's play, but we all know what's going to happen after it shows the first four. I'm pretty sure it's safe to assume. Oh, but then again, would it suck? You ever have it where you skip a cutscene, but then it, it cuts, like, way further ahead than you intended it to? <laughs> and then all of a sudden, you're just, like, in a different location with different characters, and they're like, all right, let's go do the thing we said in the cutscene. <laughs> and you're like, what, what? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, no. Oh, no. Why couldn't it just turn into, like, dust? I don't know. I kind of feel like by the time you got to 16-bit graphics... Unless you have, like, a reason to actually have it just flash and disappear. Like, did it, like, the God Beasts have, uh, revived. Each one controls, uh, a different element. D does the word controls have two L's in it? Maybe it does. Uh, maybe not. I don't know. Uh, if they combine their powers, we'll never be able to stop them. Well, we can combine our powers and summon Captain Planet. Uh, we have to stop them now while they're still vulnerable. Let's hurry to the Mana Stones. But I thought they flickered and disappeared. Um, I'm guessing there's going to be nothing, uh, there ain't going to be anything up here. Let's just go. 
Yeah, but um, unless there's like a reason for them to actually vanish, I think that they could have made it like when when someone dies, they could actually just die, you know. Or they're like those mana stones. Were they actually vanishing? It says we have to go to them. But then if they were vanished, then how would we go to them? I was looking for a pot to plant the seed that I probably don't have. Even with a cast like this, I can't close up shop. Everyone, everyone would be disappointed. The only thing for me to do is business as usual. Why don't you do some business as usual? I'm trying to do some business with you, sir. And you're like, oh, I can't do business with you. I'm too busy doing business as usual. Oh, man. This is why I didn't want to do that. Uh, okay, here we go. Oh, the end is here. What the hell is the other person? Like, what's the point of them existing? It's like the innkeeper's, like, like grandfather or something. And it's like, no, we'll give you a job. You just, you just stand there and do business as usual. And just repeat yourself to everybody that walks by. And no, you're helping. You're helping. Oh, yeah. This inn wouldn't be the same without you around. Okay, let's pop one last save. Okay. Uh, oh, damn it. What am I supposed to do now? It said go to the mana stones. Do I really have to go to all of them? There's no way that they want me to just revisit all of the places again. It's like a Metroid Prime situation, like, all over again. Wait, let me go Let me go outside and summon uh, Flammy. Actually, I got dropped off here. Aw, oh, did I not? Aw, oh, fucking... Ugh, this is why I didn't want to... Wait. Oh, the drum is still with me. How the hell did I not see it? Oh, because it looks like one of these coins. <laughs> Oh, let's get the frick out of here, man. Alright. Let me just see if... Okay, we have all the places lit up again. Okay. I just needed to know that. I just needed to see that before I stopped recording. Because it really sucks balls when you start a recording and you have no idea what to do. So I just wanted to know if I need to... Like, what kind of mood I need to be in when I start recording. Because uh, if I don't have any sense of direction or where to go, that freaking sucks. Okay, so we'll fly around to all these places next time and... Maybe we'll have an episode or two or three just mopping up. Uh, are we going to have to... Oh, it's pro is it going to be like a boss rush? Are we just going to run and kill... Like, run through the areas and kill a boss? I wonder if the enemies in those areas will maybe be stronger. It does kind of seem like cheap, like they just recycled the dungeons, possibly. If that ends up being the case. They're like, oh, we just scaled up the enemies and we scaled up the boss. What if we have to do a color palette swap... Or palette swapped uh, boss or whatever? Oh, that's what they did in Secret of Mana. They, they, you fought like the same... Kind, you fought like pallet swap bosses. There was only a couple that that didn't have a pallet swap, uh, right? I think, like the like the like the big old goofy, like silly vampire flying dude or whatever. Um, okay. Anyway, so we'll do that next time. And as always, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate your viewership. And uh, please like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. If you're new, and we'll see you next time. Have yourselves a great day. Bye.